it's crazy because the music comes natural when my basketball is doing well. So when I'm like, I don't know why, but when I'm clicking in basketball and waking up at 5 a.m. and I'm doing my workouts, it starts coming naturally to me more than the music starts. So, so yeah. like a clear-headed component. Exactly, exactly. They feed into each other. They it feed into, like. like they intertwine in a way. So like I know when I'm not, when I'm not, I have writer's block, when I'm not able to do nothing on the music side, I gotta be liking on my basketball side because my mind is in there. You said at the regional in Greenville that you knew in the summer that y'all had a special team. Yeah. What have you seen this summer leading into this season? Uh, leading this season, it's on us if we don't win. You know what I mean? Like, we have Kim Oak, we have the coaching staff, we have the pieces. It's on us. Everything is on us. Like, you got to realize, like, it's us. It's ours to lose. You know what I mean? And nobody expected us to do it last year, but now we're going to probably come in number one, and they're going to expect it, and it's ours to lose. Well, Kayla's in the spot that you were in last year. Mm -hmm. uh, what advice do you have for her? Are you seeing any? Are you seeing any differences between you as a freshman and her? Yeah. In the way she carries herself. Yeah. Or? Yeah. It's a big difference for her. Like, she's re she's ready. Like, you know what I mean? She's really ready, and she has this self confidence. Like, you know, she's just a baller. You know what I mean? And I told her, like, I want freshman year nothing less. You know what I mean? I was like, I got SEC freshman year. I want you to get national freshman year. Like, she's that good. So I just push her, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, be better. Like, be better. Like, I'm going to leave her, but you got to be better. Um, we did that in the summer. And I just been pushing her. She's been pushing me, making me better. Uh, taking from her skill set. She's taking from my energy. So it's been good. She's going to be a, good, a great player in this I mean, league. Did, did, did she look like a freshman in No. She's built like a senior. Like, she has a, an unbelievable body. She can big you up. You know what I'm saying? She can shoot the ball, shoot the midi. Her midi is insane, so. How physical y'all been getting? I was, well, Haley was over there a little while ago. She had bruises all over. Y'all yeah. don't get, get physical in practice? Yeah. <laughs> Shut up, Izzy. Shut up, Izzy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah, it's, it's um, unbelievable. We super competitive. Get into it on the court, shake hands when we get off. You know what I mean? Like, But that's what happens when you got little dogs on the team. Jose, uh, people are going to either love you, love you guys or hate you. You know, they're going to want to beat you. Yeah. You know? How do you? Have we, I mean, y'all gonna get everyone's best shot. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm sure you did a lot of times last year, but how are y'all prepared for that? A little bit of both. I think we are prepared for it because of kind of the, you know, what we seen last summer. We've seen a lot of hate in the media. We've seen a lot of hate from teams. We've seen a lot of love as well, though. But we know that it's a target on our back every game. Like, every game is gonna be their type of championship game because they want to beat us and go on social media and do all of that. So we have to have a solid foundation so, you know, we don't fall. Is there any games on the schedule that you're looking forward to the most, whether it's the early, trips, uh, you know, the islands or whatever it might be, is it, or is there something that you're looking for in the spring the most? No, nah, I'm just looking forward to that first exhibition game, like whenever we touch the floor and then go from there. I think that we, our first official game is Colorado, but we can't take the exhibition game lightly either. Like, I'm, every time you're on the court, I want to I want to demolish. Uh, you've probably heard what some people are saying. There's so much talent on that team, mm -hmm. so many superstars. How is Coach Mulkey going to manage all these egos? Yeah. Um, do you have an ego? And, uh, how, how do, and is it, you know, most most superstars, yeah, of course I got one. I mean, I wouldn't be good if I didn't. So how does that that all work with team chemistry? Um, what do you what do you define as, like, ego? Like, what do you, what's your definition of ego? Well, I guess uh, they, they say he or she has a big ego. They think they're, you know, they think they're great. Hmm. Or they, maybe they think they're better than someone else. Hmm. Or, or, or he's got a big ego, ego he won't pass to that guy. Hmm. Or those are the kind of things, I guess. I mean, just. Yeah. I think, okay, if you say you're going that way, I think everybody here has an ego because all of these are great players. But, like, when you bring all great players together and you bring ballers together, they're going to make the right play. You know what I mean? Like, Coach Moki was talking today, like, reverse the ball. Like, you can get a good shot, but you can get a better assist. You know what I mean? So, and Coach, Coach Moki, she always emphasized, I'm the alpha male. Like, I'm the alpha dog in here. Like, we don't have no, I'm the alpha dog. You know what I mean? So. She really just put us in our place, honestly, just like she did last year. We had a lot of personalities last year. We got a lot this year. But we all know that we're trying to win a championship. Yeah. So well, whatever you, it takes. If you've improved as a player and the team is better than, let's say, hypothetically better than last year, mm -hmm. but individual numbers statistically aren't what they were last year for mm -hmm. each person, does it matter if, if, if the game, if, 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 if the team is better, than it could be better than last year? If we win, like, statistics don't matter. Like, Coach Mookie already said, like, it's going to be a lot of sacrifice this season because we have a lot of great players and we have to be pulling for each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's what I'm ready to do. Like, I don't care if I score zero points, but I get 10 rebounds. I got 10 rebounds. 
Well, I got five or six. You know what I'm saying? And somebody else got 30. Like, we're winning games. We want a championship. I want a championship. So whatever I got to do to win that championship, I'm going to do it. How much stuff did you do from, like, April the 2nd until, <laughs> like, July? I mean, was it just a whirlwind? I mean, April the second through the seventh, I was turned up, <laughs> and then I had exams, so I had to chill out. Um, but I, man, I had I had a time of my life. I had a ball. We were so celebrated, like everybody was just giving us our flowers. So I had fun, and I lived in that. I lived in that, and, um, but I had to get back on track. You know, the famous thing in football has always been uh, when LSU's she's won national championship in football. That they come back and they've been on the bank. They call it the banquet circuit, and you're out eating steak dinners every night. <laughs> and get, I mean, you have to guard, had to guard against that because all of a sudden, you know, you start putting on weight or whatever, and you're like, man, I'm getting, I better back off of this because I'm gonna get out of shape. Yeah, but I needed to get me some weight on me, so that all worked. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get <laughs> so that's little, all good. I'm trying to get a little big, so um, I, <laughs> I was eating a little healthy though, five star restaurants and you know, th full course meals. But now uh, I can't hear. And I came back early because I was like, I felt like I was like, y'all, I, I, I got to get back in the gym. I, I lied to my mom. I was like, mama, Coach Moki said it's mandatory that we get back, so I can't stay. I'm sorry. And I was here for a month straight, just leaving on the weekend. So I knew what I had to do. I knew that coming from that long break that, you know what I'm saying, it was going to have to be a different. So I just came back and worked with the freshman. Angel said that uh, Jay-Z and Beyonce knew who she was. Yeah. And that was kind of like, you know, blew her mind. Maybe. Yeah. Well, did you have a moment like that during the off season, or? Yeah, it was. Back? That was a little Wayne moment for me, man. Like, he was like, "I'm gonna bless you with a verse on my track," and we actually got it done this summer. So, that moment right there, I was like, "Lil Wayne, like the Lil Wayne, want to do a song with me?" And we actually did it. Y'all record, record. Yeah, we already right, recorded right. it. So. When, <sighs> when does it drop? I'm gonna drop it on my album. I'm gonna save that. That just came to the drop. I don't know. I'm gonna drop that and be strategic with that. Mike was kind of asking you about it, but hopefully you win all your games. Right? Yeah. But if you go on the road and you lose one, they may like rush the floor and stuff. Yeah. Right. I mean. Yeah. So you're playing now, like the maybe the villain. The yeah, yeah. I think we play more the you know the person with the target on that back. That's how we play. Like everybody want to beat you. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna be like a celebration for us to lose. You know what I'm saying? So I think we should use that as. Like motivation and she be like, wow, like y'all really, y'all really, we really that, you know what I mean? Instead of taking it another way. So I think that well, it's going to. Y'all like a traveling show last year. Yeah. like. So, so how much bigger might that be this year? Oh, it's going to be huge. It's going to be sold out. Every game that we play, the crowd got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> Every game. You know what I'm saying? Then the final four happened. It was sold out. So like, I think this year people want to see it. So they're going to come out. But it's the, it's the aspect after the game where y'all come back out of the locker yeah, room and y'all got little girls there to sign and. Yeah, we gonna have security this year, like a lot of security. And, but I be I be excited to see the little girls because they be so happy. And I don't, I never know what I could do. One touch, one talk, one word of inspiration could change the whole trajectory of how they feel about themselves and their motivation. So I, I always try to make sure I take every picture I can, sign every autograph. Is that something that's really stood out to you? I mean, just the effect that you can have. Yeah. You know, Some, young girls watching y'all from wherever. Sometimes you don't know how you really can affect people. Your words, your actions, how you look when you come out of the game. You know, say a timeout, anything can they? They looking at you at all times. You know what I mean. So I just want to be try to be a good role model for them for sure. How do you, you know, teach these newcomers, freshmen? That, I mean, everything that we've talked about. You know, the crowd, the yeah. traveling show. Like, do they? Will they understand it until they do it? I mean, what's that like? I feel like that part I can't really teach them. I can only tell them. I I learned last year. When I was in film with Coach Bob and we were watching the televised game and I was like this on the bench and they had on the screen Flage signed to Rock Nation, McDonald's All-American and I'm popping like this on the camera. You know what I mean? And that was an eye open for me like, wow. And I, I, it was just something that I had to see and feel and I never did it again. Never. Being from the 912 Georgia, I'm also from there. Um, I know that a lot of people are supporting you. So uh -huh. how does it feel to go back to Georgia, your stomping grounds, and feel all that support, knowing that it's not only in Louisiana? No, it's going to be lit. I like going home. I told everybody to make sure they come to Georgia. It's going to be fun. All my folks are going to be there with their foes up. So it's going to be fun. What side of Savannah are you from? I'm from Wake Rush, Georgia. It's kind of like an hour from there. Girl, that is not Savannah. It's Ooh, not that is not. It's not with you, though. <laughs> What kind of dynamics does she bring to this team? Um, like a lot of competition. I feel like she's a good guard. She's a great guard. So like, 
you playing behind her or playing in front of her, you just want to watch what she's doing and, and, you know, try to mimic that. She go hard every rep. That's my favorite thing about Hayley. Like, she don't take one rep off. Yeah. yeah. And Anissa, what, what is her game like? She's my favorite player. I told her that. I love her. My favorite player between her and Angel and MK, they in a race, but she a little bit. It's because every time, like, she ain't going to talk. She just going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's not going to talk. She's just going to come out and compete every time. She just told us that you're not only her favorite player, but you're also her favorite person. Anissa said that? Anissa said that. Anissa, you said that? <laughs> She's lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, no. She, she said you got an incredible amount of respect for you, obviously juggling what you're juggling. Really? And how you come in here every day. Like, y'all's relationship, uh, how's oh. it growing this summer? It just, you just made it grow. I didn't know she said that. Wow, like, I love Anissa. Like, Anissa, like, one, let me tell you about Anissa. Anissa is my height. 5'11", she probably 6 foot, 6 foot, one. but we still the same height. And y'all know I'm a good rebounder. Third on team last year, a tenth behind LaDaisha Williams, third on team. I'm going up for a rebound, and then I see somebody open, oh, what? And it was her. And she did that two times, three times, on the free throw line. I'm getting chewed out, but I can't even get mad, because I'm like, Coach, what you want me to do? <laughs> like, And you come and you look at her, you be like, damn, she undersized. And then you see her on the court and how it's supposed to be, like, oh, no, they can't do nothing with her. And she can guard her angel the dad on me. I love to see that. 